Hey guys, it's Maddie from Casa Prana. Since I am unable to do services at the Casa, I figured I could show you how to do a little at-home facial. Um, we all probably need a little bit of extra self-care right now, so my baby's asleep, so I'm gonna take the time to like really do a nice nighttime routine on myself. So, um, first things first is I always pull my hair back so that I can just really focus on my skin. Um, there's nothing more annoying than your hair in your face when you're trying to relax. So, um, I'm gonna start off with um, my vitamin C cleanser. Um, vitamin C is just really great, especially when you're like pregnant and breastfeeding and you can't really use a lot of other products. It's really great for brightening. Um, anti-aging, fights free radicals. Um, I know on the news everyone's talking about eating lots of vitamin, you know, consuming lots of vitamin C. It's just, there's so much research that it's really, really good for your body, but it's also great for your skin too. So um, I just wet my hands a little bit. Circular motion, always in an upward motion. Uh, really getting those areas that are congested. For me, that's always my nose, chin area. Um, I just have sunscreen on and tinted moisturizer, some concealer, and I always do my brows. Um, so not too much on my face today, but really at home when you're doing a mini facial, it's all about like taking your time. Don't forget your neck. So, and I'm gonna do a double cleanse. So I always start with my vitamin C cleanser and then I have um, like a very gentle balancing cleanser. So I'm just gonna rinse. You always wanna pat instead of rubbing because it's more gentle on the skin. So now I'm gonna do my second cleanse. Especially at nighttime, it's so beneficial for you to do a second cleanse because you would be surprised how much you don't get off with that first cleanse. Um, so I always tell my clients, um, when in doubt, get a cleanser that you can just use twice, cleanse twice. Um, if you want to be extra fancy, you can have two cleansers like what I have. This one is just a gentle balancing one, great for everyday use for day and night. Um, but as long as you're cleansing twice with a gentle cleanser, you would never want to cleanse twice with like a really anything with really harsh ingredients because it would over dry your skin or irritate your skin. But if it's a gentle cleanser, cleansing twice is amazing. Um, it's really going to get just everything, all the makeup, sunscreen, all the pollution from being outside, oil buildup, just everything that happens throughout the day. Double cleanse is super important, important. <laughs> and patting dry. So that's step one. That already took four minutes or so. I'm sure for most of you, you don't take that long with your cleansing, but I promise you, if you did do that, just double cleansing makes such a world of a difference. It's crazy. Um, next, I'm gonna take my toner and I have a reusable cotton round. Yay for sustainable. Um, because I am breastfeeding, I use, um, a glycolic acid that's low in percentage so that it's still safe to use. Um, but if you're not pregnant breastfeeding, like great toners, some ingredients that you want to look for are always like salicylic acid, glycolic acid, lactic acid. Um, those are really great for anyone who has like acne or wants anti-aging properties. Um, if you have sensitive skin or like rosacea, I wouldn't recommend it, but toners are great for, I have like combination skin. Um, and it can be a little reactive, but for the most part, I mean, I can, I 
really pretty much do really intense stuff if I wanted to. I mean, but I can't right now because I'm procrastinating. So this is um, the best of both worlds where I can get some of that declogging of the pores. Um, especially like this tea gum, that's why I'm like going over it a couple of times. And um, really just getting off like, you can see that a little bit, whatever like cleansing didn't get off. So for me, I use it for anti-aging properties, but I also use it for like acne. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna put it in my little tea wash pouch. Um, these are awesome if you ever like want to consider straying away from cotton pads. I was a little hesitant at first, but actually it's great. It does just as great of a job. Um, okay, so next, um, sometimes in the shower I do like um, an exfoliator. Um, I'm not gonna, well, yeah, why not? I mean, we've got the time. So I'm gonna use my exfoliator. Um, it's just a gentle exfoliator. Uh, the beads are natural, so um, you always want to look for, like, when I say natural, like, you don't ever want, like, plastic beads in your exfoliator, or um, you don't ever want, like, any nuts that, like, walnut. You don't want anything that's, like, too abrasive um, in general because it's just too rough for the skin. And also in general, like I only use a physical exfoliator like this where it's got like, can you see that? It's got exfoliating properties in it. I only use this about like once or twice a week. Um, I think for most skin types, I mean, I'm not looking at your skin. I can't give you a full, you know, consultation because I don't know who's watching this. Um, but for most skin types, doing an exfoliation like this once or twice a week is kind of enough. You don't really need to do a physical exfoliation every day. That could be too much, too abrasive. You're gonna cause more irritation than anything. Um, but just little circles, you always wanna go in an upwards motion. Um, always avoid the eye area with exfoliations like this. Um, that skin is so sensitive, you just you really don't even need to focus on that. And the same with the toner, you don't put toner around your own thing. Okay, gonna rinse. So, my skin is like really, there's nothing on it. Like, and it's, it's clean. So now is the time to add in all of the things that I want on my skin. So, what I'm gonna do is, since it's nighttime, I'm also gonna go a little more, steps. Um, during the day, I like wash my face, put on like SPF and go. But at nighttime, I do take my time. So I'm going to do some eye cream. And I'm fairly liberal with this. Um, I, don't, I don't like to skip my eye cream. So to some people it may be like, oh, that's a lot, but you know what, that's my face, so. Um, you always wanna use a ring finger. It's the most gentle, and focus on like your brow bone and your cheekbone. The product will seep into your actual eye area. You don't wanna apply it straight to your eye area because then you're gonna get in your eyes, so. Um, then I'm gonna do a vitamin C serum that much. Again, I'm pretty liberal with my products. Some people are going to say you can use less, but I'd rather use personally more skincare and less makeup. So, um, I always go down the neck. Don't forget your neck. Really make sure that's all in there. I always forget to like rub in my nose area for some reason. So we've got our eye cream serum. Um, tonight I'm gonna do this oil that I made at Casa Prana. Like, can you see? Like that. 
I'm just gonna kinda go like this and press it into my skin. That smells really good. I'm trying to remember what I put in this. It's jojoba oil and then we put, we got to like put our own essential oils in it. Oh, I put frankincense, which is like the healing oil. I mean, it's just, you can look up all the benefits, but it's great for the skin, um, great for the soul too. Um, I think I put a, put a little bit of blue tansy in there, which is another like miracle oil. Um, and then what I'm really excited for is we're gonna do some gua sha. So, um, but I really wanna do this one. So this is a good like sculpting tool. Gua sha in general is gonna help detox um, impurities out of the body. Um, also helps with like lifting, sculpting, helps with inflammation, and just gives you like a nice glow. So um, I always like to start with my jawline. He'll stay asleep for us. Um, the most important thing with at home with gua sha is you never um, really kind of just avoid this whole area because you've got your thyroid going on, you've got you know important blood flow. Um, so I think as long as you kind of stay away from this area, the front part of your neck. You're kind of, um, unless you're like a pro, um, I'll just stay away. But your jawline, you can totally do. It's kind of easy. You always want to go in an upwards motion, you know, because gravity is gonna pull us down anyway. Um, so yeah, I like to do the jaw, and then I like to go here, and it just feels really nice. Too. Um, Bad about you want to keep the angle like more closer towards the skin. I'm always bad, I always want to go like this, but um, you want to keep that angle. And you see how it's like you see where the hollow of my cheekbone. You can go like this if you want. It's funny to me. And then, I mean, whatever you do on one side, do on the other side. <laughs> because you'd be surprised the results. If you just did just one side, maybe I'll do that for a video one time. Just one side, what it does for your skin, it's crazy. Um, you never wanna pull the skin here. So you always want to be really gentle when you're going around that area. Um, these fine lines. This is also good for draining the sinuses, especially it's like spring fever out there not just coronavirus, but allergy season, so that's awesome. I have one tool that I just got that I wanna use for this area. See how it's got this little divot? One, it's good for here, which is amazing. Too. I think it'd be really good for yep, under that brow bone, it feels really nice. Gua sha is, to me is a little intuitive. Um, if it feels right, it probably is. Um, you just always want to be gentle and overly cautious because it is your face. You only have one face. So you really want to treat it with care and be nice to it, be kind to it. You only have one face. Um, that feels really nice though. 
gonna go back to the one that I know though. Um, I like to go up like this. So for me, when it comes to facial, facial massage in general, but also gua sha, so you have lines going this way. So in theory, to help minimize those lines, you want to go the opposite way. And don't be shy about massaging into your hairline because your face doesn't end, like that facial muscle doesn't end right where your hairline is, it ends a little farther back. was nice um and then i always like to do some facial massage as well it feels so much better when someone else is doing it but i mean it's not bad either when you're doing it to yourself you just want to go in a first motion one of my favorite things that you can do to yourself at home and this is really good if you have sinus pressure or aller seasonal allergies, which I always do, is um, you can take your ring finger and very gently press in a circular motion. Right here, you have a little pressure point. Go like press a little bit there and then circle back around. I'm <laughs> crazy, but that's okay. Circle back around and then you're gonna just pull out to your temples especially if I'm super congested. Sometimes I'll just do this and you'd be surprised how it really does help. Also deep breathing too. So that's some basic facial massage with some gua sha and my hands. So now I'm just gonna do some lip balm. Took definitely a little bit more time because my child is asleep. So I gotta take advantage of that. And um, you know, like once a week, I try to like do this. I try to really like take my time. So I, sometimes I literally have just enough time to like throw water on my face. But when I do have the time, I try to take my time. And you would be surprised, um, especially like the next morning when you wake up, it's, you only get one face. And I really am a believer that like coming in for treatments is amazing, but what you do at home is going to really set the standard for what your skin is gonna look like long-term. So um, this is Maddie from Casa Prana. I hope you learned something and enjoyed seeing my face. <laughs> and uh, Hopefully, if you liked it, I'll do more of these things. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see or questions, comments, please leave some below and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.